All right, all right, all right. Yes, you guys heard it first here on the Vero G Spotlight Radio Show. 
Yes, yeah, I'm your host, Vero G, co-host, the Lama was taking a break. And we're with the amazing DJ, DJ Chef, and the ones and twos, baby. Yes. Yes, yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yes, awesome. Um, I just, I want to say one thing about that song we just listened to. Yeah. By Yourself, Truly. That song, you know, every time that I listen to that song, song, you know, I listen to the tones of your voice. You know, it really, it, it really, like, bring out your... Your, your voice patterns and your vocals. Oh, I appreciate that, man. Definitely. I'm honored. I'm honored. Thank you, man. You're Definitely. Welcome. Not a problem. And actually, it's funny you say, because that's actually one of the singles for the uh, sophomore album, The Rise of Vero G. I had to put cheap, cheap plug on here. Yes. Yes. You guys see it first. The Rise of Vero G sophomore album is officially out. Soon at digital distributions. Very soon, guys. So be more patient. But I do have hard copies, and I just want to thank those who have been getting, getting copy of this amazing CD. And I know Chef will personally get one as well. And um, thank you, man. I'm excited for this. Yes. And I'm gonna tell everybody, listen, y'all need to get this album because you're getting the best of Burl G. Aww. Remember, she's she's a she's not just a singer; she's a rapper. She's she's multi talented. Oh, so sorry. you're getting the best of both worlds. Please. I appreciate that. You, you'll regret it if you don't get this CD. I'm going to tell you that much. Oh, stop it now. Stop it. Well, before we even get started, Chef, let them know your IG, where they can follow you, and all that good stuff. Yes, yes. My IG is djchef.qnz. Again, that's how you reach me. My IG is djchef.qnz. You can also reach me on Facebook under Darius Harris, and you will see my logo right on my page. Awesome, awesome. Yes, also, guys, you can just check real quickly on my IG under Diva and Diamonds or um, under my Facebook artist page, Vero G. You can just check me there for all the latest content and all that stuff. Uh, before I even get started, I usually don't make that much uh, announcements, personal announcements, but um, I want to give a shout out to my mother. It's her birthday today. Happy birthday, mom. All right, all right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yes. So I, I won't say her actual age, but happy birthday. I am thinking about you, man. Don't think so. Happy birthday, mom. I'm yes, sure. yes, yes, exactly. So um, let's make a quick couple of announcements, Chef, before we get to the show. Um, um, I'm yeah. going to make my announcement that um, Blazing blazing Season bla blazing season Blends will yeah. be available in July. It's coming. Um, it's my part of my blend series. Um, please make sure that you pick it up on podcasts. You have yeah. to download the app, Google Store or Apple. Um, I'm also trying to get hard copies. I will try to have CDs available as, as well for awesome. my Blazing Season blends. It's going to be part one, and there's going to be a part two before the summer's out. So stay tuned to that. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yes. Um, all right, so some quick announcements on my end as well. First and foremost, guys, like I mentioned, the album is already out. Just contact me or either Chef. We'll, we'll send a message from that point on if you want to get a copy of it. Um, right. definitely. Thank you. Also, I officially got the May issue of right here on my hands, the Vero G Spotlight Magazine May issue. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And Chef will be on the July's issue. So I'm excited for that. Yes. 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 Your boy <laughs> will be on the July issue. And, um, he's got a few things he's going to make in a uh, bio and you will be able to see all information. So stay tuned for that. That's right, baby. But guys, like I said, all the issues that we have on um you all the issues that we have for the Vero G Spotlight magazine, you guys can go and get a copy of it at www.madcloud.com. Yes, so definitely check it out. Great content, amazing upcoming artists, a lot of great things to come for this magazine. Also, talking about uh plugs again, check out the play, the latest poetry book, which I already released on www.amazon.com, guys. Wow, look at that. There you go, baby. Don't work it. <laughs> Get your copy today, guys. That's the front. That's the back. There we go. Whoop we do. Yes. Uh, let me see what other quick plug I want to add in here. Yes, the back to school. Um, we're having a back to school event, hopefully August or not. We'll we'll make a later date. We'll let you guys know in advance. Definitely go to GoFundMe. If anything, just contact me or chef. We'll give you directly the link where you guys Please can donate. donate for the kids. Yeah. We're accepting all donations. Even if you have supplies, we accept those. Definitely. Um, every donation will be accepted. Um, 
one, two, three dollars, whatever you have. You know, we we're, we're we're not picky. You know, at the end of the day, remember it's for the kids. That's right. And actually, Chef, I'm making one of the announcements on here by an anonymous sponsor um, or a person who's been um, contributing for the amazing thing. Uh, the yes. the is a, we just got over a thousand dollars for our amazing charity right now. Yes. Yes. This is a gift yes. for the and the community, guys. As DJ Chef says, it's, it's just for them. It's just for them to know that with this crisis has been going on for a couple of months, I say you could say. We're giving them faith. We're giving them hope that, you know what, people do care about these strangers, love them, even their families. But right now, there's a time more than ever to donate just for the kids. And I'm going to get right. a moment because I have a kid myself and I know how hard it is. So this is for anybody who's watching and now or exactly. later on. Exactly. That this, is, this is for them, man. So thank you for our amazing person or persons who's been donating. Thank you, Anonymous, for that. We appreciate you. And so everything else, and it's a one. It's a one. Yes. Please keep donating. Because That's the more right. that you donate, the more that we can give back to our kids and our communities. That's right, Chef. That's right. Actually, a big shout out to Carlos. He's one of the team members as well. And everybody in our team, just wishing you guys well wishes, everybody. I love you all. Just give it a big shout, shout out. Shout out to my man, Carlos. I yeah. see you, brother. You know that you <laughs> are fine. And you know I love you to death, my brother. You know that. That's right. And all our amazing, amazing loyal fans, Bossy V, Christine. James Dean Rero, everybody's been watching the our whole shows. Whole Jack Light before. Entertainment. Yes. We, we, we appreciate all. Definitely, man. Definitely. Um, so I do want to make another announcement, Chef, but I wait till we talk a little more on the show. And that's another announcement I told you I would talk about today on the show. Oh, it's not you, Jason. No. Now he wants to pop in. That's the loud mouth, guys. <laughs> there is all the loud say, there all is. I can say right now is Venom. I haven't forgotten about you. Oh, here we go. And what you did to me. And the time will come where I will retract my revenge. And you will regret the day, the day that you ever took the title from me. So you better polish that belt up. You better shine that fucking belt up real nice. You better hold on to it. Snuggle with it in whoa, bed. Whoa, whoa. Because one day I will take it from you. Okay, you had your five minutes of fame. All right, thank you. Let's get to the show, Chef. <laughs> Can't make this shit up. All right, so we have an amazing show for you guys again today. We have an amazing guest, an artist by the name of Real G's. Hope I get his name correctly, forgive me. Uh, but he'll be on the show later on today to talk about... Real G's, okay. Real G's, I got it right, yeah. <laughs> we'll have him on the show. We'll talk about a couple of things he's working on. So stay tuned, guys. Yes. So, Chef, yes. are you ready for the topic segment? You know I love the topic segment. You oh, know yes. Same here, I babe. love the topic se- segment. <laughs> Definitely. Same here, Chef. All right. <laughs> so the first one I'm going to... Uh, oh, okay. I'll, I guess I'll go. Okay. So the first thing, first topic I'm going to talk about is... Now, for example... um. Do like a lot of these movies we watch, you know, that that base basically portrays like violence and drugs and all the bad things we don't kind of want to see sometimes. Does it affect the youth? Now, I want your opinion, Chef. Anybody who's watching, you guys' opinion also. Part um, of it. yeah, go ahead, Chef. Yes, it affects the youth. Um, I believe that um, when you're watching movies like that, you know, the youth are um, they emulate what we do so. Yeah. You know, while you watching movies like that, um, it's kind of like give them a, 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 a scapegoat or it gives them, they read off of what we do when it comes to movies, you know, kind of like a role model, you know. Exactly, exactly. So, yeah. you know, um, depending on the movie, whether it's violence, drama, or it has s- sexual content, you know, it reflects off of what the kids, what they see. You know, everything they, they view it, it reflects behind. Exactly, exactly. Um, I'll make my part POV very short. I just feel like, you know, a lot of kids um, have to have something, like you mentioned as well, Chef, something positive uh, to look up to, as a reminder, like you said, or anything that is going to influence them, basically, in a sense of, you know, hey, that, that person's doing something for themselves. I want to do the same exact thing, you know. Uh, we see too much negative things going on. Like you said, violence, sex, drugs, 
that's the norm in the hood. You know, you know, we got to realize, you know, we got to kind of steer the kids the right way. The youth is our next generation. So we got to really do things the correct way to show them the right path and things in that nature. I agree. I agree. 100%. Yeah. Not a problem. Okay, so the next topic here, guys, is how do you feel that we are officially locked in for another month from the coronavirus? Um, personally, um, I'm not too fond about it and I'm not too happy about it. But, you know, we have to be safe. And if, exactly. if, it, if it takes another month that we have to stay in before we reopen, then it is what it is. I mean, we've been... We've been we've been locked down for what seven months seven weeks? Oh God, yeah. It's I believe been a- it was seven weeks. They said it today. It's been seven weeks. Seven weeks is a long time, you know. Oh, yeah. And yeah. you know, everybody has a way of coping with it. It's not easy, you know. So exactly. Um, like I said, you know, it's 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 hard times, but you know, you have to make the best of what we have. And if it if if it's if it's if opening up, waiting another month to open up to benefit us and make sure that we don't get sick again, you know, and catch the virus, then, you know, we have to go through it. We just have to continue going through it. You know? Yeah, so true, man. So true. Um, Yeah, I feel exactly the same way about how you feel about this. I just feel like, you know, eventually this is going to clear out, but it's going to take some time. Um, a lot of people want to rush out to go to the beach, the park, to enjoy the air, but they don't realize the consequences by doing that is the longevity of maybe you end up dying or, God forbid, getting really sick. So I'd rather just take that risk, stay in a little longer, and know, God forbid, you know, I could, we all could survive this, you know? Exactly. I mean, yeah. we've been going through, you know, there's been a lot of deaths. It's been a lot of bloodshed. There's been a lot of, you know, exactly. our loved ones, people that we know that's close, you know, they're dying, you know. So we have to get it right the first time around, you know, even though they say, to be as possible that a second wave, but we have to we have to act accordingly, and we have to get it right before we decide to reopen and you know so and get back to our normal lives. So true. All right, that's true. All right, so talking about that, your next topic is something similar to that. Um, your next the topic you're going to talk about is is it important that um hold on it's the, my writing's like chicken scratch. Oh my god. Um, is it important <laughs> that we all social distance? Um, after we go back into, you know, like you mentioned before, we get back into the clearance, as they say, you know. Right. Um, I've noticed the reason why I asked that one of that question is mm-hmm. because I've noticed that people are not practicing social distancing. And I think I mentioned this a couple of times, uh, a couple of shows before, as we've been doing this, that people just continue to not listen. And still social distance, um, still social gathering, having gatherings. I'm seeing that the police are getting involved and, you know, people are getting heard and, you know, people are not listening. You know, it's very simple, you know, and they're opening up streets and parks for us to at least get out and breathe a little bit. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean that we need to have a party and go in the park and, and barbecue and, and and everybody's close to each other. That doesn't mean that. You exactly. have to follow the rules. Exactly. Exactly. It's true. It's true. Um, the next one you have here it says, um, would you or would you not uh still social distance like in a restaurant or let's say somewhere like it's kind of closed in? That was your I think your next um topic you wanted to talk about about that. Um yeah, basically I feel like this. Um when when the re- restrictions are released, yeah, I feel that. Well, do I feel personally it's gonna be a minute before I decide to go and sit down in a restaurant and have a meal, you know, or a bar, have a drink, you know. I'm not gonna jump off and just do it right away. Same thing with like going to a casino or something. Oh God, I'm no! Not gonna, I'm not gonna do that right away. I'm going to probably wait maybe three months down the line or some kind of club, strip club, whatever. I'm not going to jump in it right away. But that doesn't mean everybody else is not going to follow suit, you know? Exactly. Exactly. Um, I will say, honestly, from my point, I, I, it's going to take me, like, a long time because I rarely go out more than ever now, um, as you know, Chef. And I just, you know what, you got to really 
you have to get like everything at the bulk and then run back home. That's what I've been doing. Just get everything at the moment, everything you could get, run back home and for a couple of maybe good months or weeks, you know? <laughs> right. Definitely. But I say, you know, it's gonna take a lot of people just generally a long time to get back to their normal lives and all that sorts and that, you know. Right. Definitely. Um, we'll make another big announcement um after Chef will play some great tunes for us, uh, for the music break, and we'll make a big announcement right after this uh music break. I'm going to play another song by you. Oh, stop it. <laughs> it's called Don't Cry. And oh, then yeah. I'm going to play another song by you, which is one of my favorites. It's called Sins of Sorrow. Okay, cool, Michelle. Take it away. So we're going to get started right now. Thank you. 
crucial this set up. Then we were what it used to be. Both we got the limit for our time. Knowing I'm running out of mind. Chasing a minute that passes by. No how life goes by. Every minute, every breath, every second is so precious. Don't let it slip by. You gotta get up and open your eyes. Wake up before you realize it was all the dream. Pick up where you left off and see how this will be. singles for the album The Rise of LG guys. It's out now, sophomore album. Yes, Better man. get that album, baby. Better yeah. get that album, baby. Yes, 13 great original songs, great collabos. Real Lyrics is watching right now. What's up, Real Lyrics? Uh, yeah, check them out. Also Shout have out the Real Lyrics on the, on the check-in. I see you, brother. Yeah, that's right, baby. And he also has an album called Stay Little with Music. Check it out as well on all digital digital platforms and um this will be so that your platforms are well as well for me today anyway as well <laughs> so stay exactly yes baby yes exactly. so before we get our guests in a minute i have big announcement are you ready chef i'm ready yes we have next week guys on the Vero G spotlight radio show we have an exclusive interview with one of the hottest celebrities Artist out there. He's been a minute, but he's back again. We got Cuban Link in the building next week, guys. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. So, y'all don't want to yeah. miss that. This interview is going to be crazy. He's going to be in the building, and I'm excited to have him officially on the Cuban Link. Real of New York. Oh, here we go. Don't start now. But yes, I, I've been holding this news from Chef and everybody for a long time. So, they, let me hold it in. But he'll be on the show next week, guys. So definitely stay tuned for that. Yes. Yeah, that's big news right there, man. Uh, and, and working, working. <laughs> so as we know, we have an amazing guest for us. He'll be down here in a few minutes. I'm gonna I make sure he gets on right now. Um, he goes by the name of Real Jazz. Jizz. Oh my God, Jazz. Jazz. Mm-hmm. Awkward. Yes. Also, before we even have him on the show, guys, we have our, our May 30th of our online live concert. For the Vero G Spotlight Online concert for the amazing independent artists. So we'll be seen on Facebook. Oh, okay, I got you. Thank you, Katie. Um, like I said again, he will be oh, no, he will be awkward. The show we have, May 30th, guys. It will be online 
Concert. And it will be on your network channel, the Vero G Network. Amazon Fire TV. That's right. And she'll be DJing and also doing a lot of great stuff and co-hosting with me. Right. I will be doing a pre-mix. I'll be doing a pre-mix before we start the show, which will be at 630. Yeah. And uh, we will go right into it right after the uh, pre-mix. Definitely, man. Definitely. Yeah, you're right about that, man. So I, I'm excited for that. It'll be from 7 p.m. to 10 p.m., but it, the, the pre-show will be 6.30 p.m. So Shay will, be, that's right. Shay will be doing his mixes. I know uh, we have uh, – Chef, do you want to make that announcement yet or no, not yet? Um, I'll let you make an announcement. Go ahead. Do it. I won't. Yeah. Um, no, not yet. Not yet. You huh? tell me. No, no, but the but your thing you want to talk we discussed earlier today. Um. All right. Well, I'll make the announcement. Well, yes! I am officially going to have a mix show. Yes. It's gonna be it's gonna be aired Wednesdays and and Fridays on the network on the Vero G network, which is av- available on Amazon, um, Fire TV, and um, I will be mixing, um. From on Wednesday, I'll be mixing from two to three, and on Friday, I will be mixing from four to five. Awesome. That will be my two mixes, and it's gonna be the DJ Chef mix. Mix you. I forgot what I called it, but it's gonna um, be the DJ a, Chef mix. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll say it's the DJ Chef um, presents the mixed powerhouse uh, hour. I think something like that. Yeah, the DJ yeah. Chef. Mix power hour. That's exactly what it is. Yeah, I was gonna make sure I don't. <laughs> no, you're good, man. You're I will good. be mixing all your favorite between up to date mainstream pop music, R and B, hip hop. You know, I may throw a few artist joints in there. You oh, know? it depends yeah. on how I feel. I might throw a few independent artists in there in the mixes. So. Awesome. Stay awesome. tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. That's right, Chef. You're right, baby. You're right. Um, I just had to show the background real quickly of, of Scarface. He's one of my favorite. You know how I go down. Classic movie. I had to just put that in the background. Just of had to put that in. You of know course. that, baby. Shit. Don't get me started with that movie. <laughs> yes, yes. So we're just waiting a few minutes for our guest to be on the show. He's having some technical stuff going on right now, but we're just waiting for him as we speak. So let's just talk a little more, Chef, while we get him on the show. Uh oh. Yeah, so anything else you want to discuss about on here, guys? Um, Chef? Um, well, I also want to discuss that um, I want to make it make it be noted that, you know, JM Media is a, a very good organization. Shout out to the Loud Mouth Jason, which is yeah. JM Empire Media. Um, he does a, a splendid job, and he works very hard, you know. Yeah. So, you know, I want to salute and, and shout him out, you know, he, he's. I want him to understand that he's well recognized, and you know a lot of people should appreciate the things that he do. You know he's very talented. Right. You know Talking I mean? about that, chef. Actually, we just. I just want to make the announcement as well. Uh, where is it? I have the numbers now. Like over eleven k. It's over eleven k views of only way of music video that he directed as well, which chef has exactly. A- he directed it, baby. Man, listen, that's like the highest view we ever had any video. So that's applause for that. Let's give it up for that, man. He's amazing. He is amazing. Yeah. He's amazing with a video camera. Oh, shit. Don't start now. <laughs> He's amazing in many ways. Oh, man. Awkward, awkward. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what all works, man? What all works? Um, like I said, you know, that's cool, man. Like, we, you know, we just putting the work in and we just making sure everybody's happy what we're doing. And uh, more great things to come as we speak. So uh, more things to actually talking about more things to come. July, guys. Like I said, Chef will be on the cover of July's um, issue on the Vero G Spotlight yes. magazine. Yes, I will um, definitely. And we are looking for a few more submissions for like articles or what do you want to call it. So if anybody who's watching now later on will be a part of it, you could contact me or Chef, and we'll try to make the, all that happen. So make sure that you get a copy of July. You should get all the copies, but get July because oh, yeah, I'm going to have some interesting things He's that lost. I'm going to talk I about. I'm going to have yeah. some interesting things that I'm going to have talked about in the articles about my life and the things that I've been through. So. Yes, and, and uh, it's going to be very inspirational. Um, getting, I mean, I know you for almost two years now, Chef, and um, it's going to be our opener 
for what you went through and not where you're at now. It's a huge transition. Oh, and I'm, yeah. I'm definitely oh, also yeah. honored uh, to be a part of what you're doing and our journey alongside with the productions and everything else with that, you know? Right. Definitely. Appreciate it. Definitely. I also want to give a shout out to um, a real a, a real good DJ friend of mine. Yeah. He's a part of the Mix Squad, and his name is DJ JC Jace. You awesome. Know, um, right now, I want to just, you know, give my condolences. He lost his mother around Mother's Day. You know, they, they uh, oh. he lost his mother, but um, he shouted her out for Mother's Day, you know, and um, she kind of reminded me of um, um, a teacher of mine. So, you know, mm -hmm. I actually thought that she was my uh, first grade teacher. And um, mm -hmm. it, it wasn't, but, you know, I was in the moment, you know, and, and he um, recognized me and recognized that. And, you know, I told him, you know, I apologize for your loss and everything. And yeah. you know, he's a very, he's an amazing DJ. Um, I um, idolize him somewhat too, you know, and he's from Brooklyn, so. Awesome, awesome. That's what's up, man. But I, I, my, my condolences to him and his family at this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you know. So you know, it's a big loss, and you know, he goes through it every year. You know, you yeah. know, knowing that his mother's not here. You know, so I commend him, and I tell him, and anything, if he ever need anything, I'm here for him. You know, I tell him that all the time. So. I feel you. I feel you definitely. You're right about that. Um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's life, man. We just gotta just take it one day at a time and appreciate that we're breathing out here, man. You know, that's the yeah. Main, you know, that's the main thing. Don't take um, life for granted. Don't take it for granted. Oh God, no, definitely not, definitely not. Um, but as we wait, we're waiting for our guests. Uh, again, artist Rel Jizz. Jeez, hope I get it right. Forgive me. <laughs> I'm bad with names sometimes. I'm still trying to pronounce certain things here. Um, he's going through, uh, he's trying to really get on the show as we're waiting for him. So, well, we'll be here to uh, hopefully soon because we're waiting for him. Um, so anything else, Chef, you want to discuss about while you wait? Um, well, I don't have any else, anything to talk about, but um, we can, you know, play another song if you want to play another song to come in. Yeah, that's Or if you have anything to talk about. Oh, uh, no, no, just play some music, Chef. Go ahead, just do what you got to do. All right, I'm going to play... Um, the song that's got the most views right now. How many okay. views again you said it has? Over 11k.2 something views or something like that, I think. All right, so we're going to play the song. It's called Only Way Up. And tell the name of the people, the artists that's in this video. I mean, yeah. in this wet song. Awesome. So we got It's Phase the King, Rose J, and Stratos. Yes. All right, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Number one. It's Jack Black music. Yeah. Got a new girl on a pole now. Oh, only way up yep, is to go down. Oh, yeah. so the only way up yep, is to go down. Go down. Only way up yep, is. Hey. Uh. Yeah. 
I'm a rose up. You really must come down. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Woo, woo. Yeah, baby. Yeah. Yeah, so right now we have soon artists will be on in a few minutes. Artists, guest artists. Real G. I hope I said his name right. Real G. Real G. Real G. I hope I get it right. What's hey. up? How you doing, man? Hey. What's up? What's up? What's up? Can you, can you hear playing in the streets? Can you hear? Yeah, we hear. We hear. Can you hear playing? Come on. Can you hear me? I hear you. I hear you. Okay, baby. Let's go. That's right. Before we start anything, Katie says, uh, she, to let you know that she fucks with the mask, she says, pretty, just let you know. <laughs> That's right, baby. Yeah, so we're on the Bro G Spotlight Radio Show with host Bro G and, of course, DJ Chef on the ones and twos, baby. Yes. Yes, yes indeed. Yes, and we're on the Artist Spotlight segment with the amazing artist. I hope I don't fucking name up because I was trying to pronounce it correctly. Rel. G G's G's right? Real G's, yes. Real G's. G's. No, I'm Real sure. G's. Okay, real G's. <laughs> Don't kill me now. I'm trying to pronounce this. Oh, right on. Right on. Whoa. Pause. Flag. Boom. Flag. You, so as as your friend and the colleague, do not ever call somebody G's. I know try. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. You get when you go live. No, no. no. <laughs> I'm right, sorry. I'm back out. Out. Get out of here. This is it to me. Get out of here. Thank you, Wait, Chris. Out. Is that John Wick? Huh? Is that a John Wick from the yeah, That's John Wick. <laughs> oh, shoot. Jason, My man. Don't get me started. Stop it, Katie. Stop. <laughs> get me turning on red. Yeah, that was an engineer, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna check the name, bro. Oh, All right, guys. No problem, bro. So, Y'all is a mess. Y'all is a mess, man. This is like this all the time, man. This is part of what we do. This is this is regular for no, this I show. Love, this I, I love the vibes. I love the vibes. <laughs> this, is, this is regular for this show, bro. Yes. We, thank you, DJ Chef, and thank you, the Miss. Thank you, thank you, oh, thank you very much, man. You're welcome. Thank you, Miss Bro. Not bro. A- Oh, it, an honor. Stop it. It's an honor. But actually, we have on May's issue, guys, on the Vero G Spotlight Magazine. Yes, he is. Oh, right here. Yes. I see it right here. Yes. I see it right here. Yep, that's him right there. Yes. Um, is, he made me look sexy. Oh, stop it. Actually, All right now. All right. I got it right here. I got it right here. Oh, shit, ladies. Her man made me look like a snack. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You can't make this shit of it. Oh man. She's All right. She's so on that, she on that snap crack one pop back. You remember? Hey, what up? I, I heard <laughs> that. <laughs> I tell you, I want to look good. Listen, y'all want to look good. Get on that magazine. I'm telling y'all, he look Appreciate good. That, that magazine make you look good. Yo, no, we take that as a blessing, man. That's a blessing, yeah. bro. All right. Definitely, man. Definitely. All right. But uh, are you ready, man, for your interview? You ready? Oh, I think I'm ready. I, I, I see the vibes y'all getting, so I, I got to be ready. I, 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 I got to be ready. I don't know. I got to be ready. <laughs> That's what's up, man. That's what's up. All right, so let the whole world know who is Rel. I'll just say Rel. I'm going to make it short. Who's <laughs> Rel? Let them know who you are, baby. Listen, I am the the the, uh, the original, the never duplicated, the the uh, the goat, the legend, whatever you want to call it, Rel G's, aka Terrell Moore, as yeah. the government name. You know, I'm from Philly. Shout out to Philly, Philly representing. Yes, that city, the home. Philly's of in the his out. Philly's in the his. You know what I mean, shout out to Lil Uzi, Meek Mill, Kevin Hart. You know, Will Smith. All right, all right. Shout out to the legends. You know, I'm, I'm part of I'm part of that brand. So, what about you know, Beanie Siegel, yeah, man? Yeah. I forgot Beanie, man. Now he's part of that too now. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Where did he go? So as I said, Billy's name he popped out. He was gone. <laughs> well, I know no, he just mentioned Philly. That's all I heard. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got I got love for Philly too, man. Is, 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 where did he go, man? I mean, we were talking about bro. Philly. <laughs> what happened? Oh, got cut off. Oh shit. Oh man. You didn't see this shit. Damn it, man. All right, well, what happened? Rep, what happened? Hold on, let me get him. Let me get him. Hopefully he uh cheese. Oh up. man. Hey, he was getting into it. I'm just gonna come back on. Come back on. We had a good time. <laughs> oh, G 
you you can't listen. This is what happens when you go into live and shit happens, man. <laughs> oh God! I, what happened is he's on his car. He was driving. So what happened? The, oh the car, man! Yeah, it's kind of like wacky and stuff. It, so, the, oh, there, there you go. go. There you it, go. It, it kicked me off. See that? Yeah, right man. Off. No, you got to start right off, off. bro. <laughs> They kick, they kick me off. They don't like me. They kick me off. Oh God, you can't make this shit up, though, man. Can't make this shit up. Um, but yeah, this is all right. So you uh, just again, like you mentioned before, it got cut off. Let them know who who is real. Oh, uh, this, this coronavirus is a pain in the butt kicker. I know you ain't lying. You ain't lying. Hell yeah, man. This Hell yeah. Butt kicker. It's kicking me Hell in the butt. Yeah. You gotta Hell stay yeah. fly, but you but you gotta stay fly and sexy. You know what I'm saying? You gotta stay fly and sexy, as Justin Timberlake would say. That's right. That's right. Yeah, um, no, I feel you, man. I feel you. Uh, but all right, so let them know a little more about who you are as an artist and uh, what you do, what's your genre, and all that good sorts. Oh, uh, no, hold, on, hold on. What's the, Repeat that question one more time. No problem. No problem. Uh, let the world know who, who you are as an artist, what's your style, genre, as they say, and uh, who are your musical influences? Uh, I am a Philly uh, independent artist that is generating a little buzz in, in, in the streets and then mainstream. I worked hard to get here. I mean, I worked my ass off and tailed off, did the right way, no Illuminati shit, you know. That's right, that's right. <laughs> no 360 deals. No, 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 get way. <laughs> So, you know, I'm doing it in the right way. I, I, I know, I believe I'm doing it in the right way. I ain't, I ain't you know, so I. Um, I do. I, I rap. I sing. Um, songwriter, uh, producer. I, I listen. I I'm a jack of all trades. I do it all. My music is nice. Nice. I like that. I like that. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um. So we'll make this short because we're really running out of time. But uh, before anything, do you have any upcoming projects or any albums or something you're working on for this year? Uh, let me see. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm, the connection's a little bad over here, so we're going to repeat that one more time. No problem. Um, say it again, girl. Say it again. No problem. So do you have any upcoming like projects, albums, um, anything of the sorts that people can know about, what you're doing, and stuff like that? Oh, uh, 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 you, uh, my, you want my links My links to social media and stuff? Yeah, well, that's all that, that. I mean, that and what people, what, what, like, what, do anything? you have any upcoming projects, anything that you're going to be doing, any events? Since the summertime's coming in, anything yeah. like that? Uh, I'm trying to find a place where we can. This connection is really bothering me. I'm, can't, I'm trying to. Let me see here. Uh, oh, okay, man. we just had to cut off again. This is getting better. All right, you know what, Chef? Why don't we play his song, Get High, while he comes back on, Chef? I got you. All right. Cool, cool. Did you working out for this year, uh, bro? Okay, well, okay, now I can hear you a little bit, so it's a bit better. Um, okay, okay. The album I'm currently working on right now is called "It's Called The Freshman," 
Nice. Um, the Freshman is, is a project I've been working on. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, I'm, I'm using like the highest, I'm using the college theme. So I'm taking you on a tour from, from freshman year in my, for, for freshman, sophomore, you know, junior, senior year. I'm letting you musically incline, see, see how I grow each year. So that's what the project really is, DJ, the DJ Chef and, you know, uh, uh, and Vero, uh, that's what, like, the vibe, trying to get, like, a college vibe. So the Freshman was something I wanted to put out to let people know, you know, the new, the newest, the newest, uh, the newest uh, vibes and, and, and independent tree. I wanted to, I just wanted to show the artistry, like, you know, something new and something different. So the Freshman I was working on for a while because I actually wanted to do the album. I wanted to, I had to put out an album with uh, my old mentor in Delaware. Nice. Shout out to Richard Brainiac, by the way. It's my shout out to Delaware. 302. You know okay. I mean? Okay. Uh, so, uh, so um, we were supposed to do an album two years ago, and then what happened? A lot of stuff. Uh, a lot of stuff came came on, and the devil just put the scratches in my mind. Where I was in a very bad depression state, very depressing. And I couldn't really think. I, I mean, I kept fighting. It just, it just, it just a lot of stuff kept overwhelming me. So I had to sit down and I had to do a, what I call a Jordan uh, comeback. You know how Jordan when Jordan lost his dad and had to come back and. Yeah, he had to lead the game for a little bit, think, play baseball, and then come back and win the six more, three more championships. So that's what I had to yeah. do the same thing. So I had a Jordan, I had a Jordan, I had a Jordan moment myself. Wow. So the, the love of music, the love, the love of music was it was there, but I had too many distractions. You know, my ex girl, my ex girlfriend was jealous with me. My friends was back by me behind my back, and a lot of stuff, jealousy in the camp, and you know. So. It, oh what shit! The hell. It's, it's, it happens, man. Listen, I want to. I'll end it right now because we don't have no much time, Chef. Yeah, I know. Um, his Facebook guys, you can find him, follow him. I have it here because on the magazine. His Facebook is Terrell Moore nine six seven four. His Twitter is Rel G G. Oh God, I can't say his name right. Rel. <laughs> let me let me find it. R E L L G E E Z twenty one. And Instagram is R E L L G E E Z 21. Guys, check him out. Amazing dude. I heard himself, which we'll have him in a future show, guys. I'm sorry this had to happen. Things happen in life. But I just want to thank everyone watching the Real G Spotlight TV show with my so host, Real G. The host, the co host is dying. He's out there sleeping or something. But amazing DJ, the. Ooh, That's DJ. right. Want to know in QB's future, DJ Shep. That's right, baby. And uh, again, next week, guys, we have the official exclusive interview with Cuban Link himself. Yes. Can't so, wait for it, baby. Oh, you know that shit. Hell yeah. So, Chef, I guess you want to take it away, close the show. And, uh, sure. We'll, yeah. You and know, um, I'm closing the show. Here we go. Uh, bye, everybody. Thank you for watching. Girl G Spotlight Radio Show. With your girl, Girl G. I'm ET ETF Radio. Live Wednesday from 6 to 7 p.m. The loud mouth in the motherfucking yeah. building. BK, stand up. The champ is here. Holler, holler, hear me. Holla, holla, hear me. Hear me. This is your time to shine. Yeah. 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 Yeah.